welcome to Talk with Tayden. I am here with my um, friend Baking with Melissa from LA Cookie Con. So if we take a flashback to Cookie Con, we are also wearing sugar baby aprons too, which I also interviewed at Cookie Con. <laughs> so lots of Cookie Con flashback today. So we're going to be baking some really cute treats and decorating them too. Yes. The first thing we're going to do today is make the most adorable little cupcake. It looks like this. We're going to make a ladybug cupcake. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make at home with your friends or your family. All right? Yeah. So the first thing that we did was we previously baked a two cupcake recipe. So you don't have to make dozens of cupcakes. You could just make two and decorate them accordingly. And what we're gonna use are our friends from Wilton, pre-made frosting in a really vibrant red and a very dark black. Okay? Yeah, okay, so let's pick a cupcake and get started. So yes, get take your rolling. red frosting there, honey. Okay. And we're just gonna give the, the cupcake a nice swirl of red frosting. You don't have to worry how beautiful it is. You'll see why in just a moment. So just give it a little swirl. Make sure you cover the whole cupcake in the red. Then the fun part is we have these red sprinkles and I like to use Wilton, of course. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cupcake and we're going to just dump it into the red sprinkles so you have a nice Give it a shimmer. flat shimmer. I like the way you say that. So we, we don't wanna worry, do, do we have the frosting in the exact perfect location? It's perfect just the way it is. Yeah. Now the next part the is the cupcake. adorable face. Yeah! So we're gonna take our little Oreo cookies. These are mini Oreo cookies. And I'm gonna take black frosting and I'm going to make a little tea. Like a tea for Tayden. Like yes. And we're gonna make a little tea there so we have frosting on the cookie. We'll take two little eyeballs. I get them in a little package like this at a grocery store or Wilton or Michaels. And you just take the little eyeballs and press them down like that. And then I bought some little, you can't really see it in my hand right now, but some tiny little lips. You can get all different sizes of lips out there. And so I'm gonna press my little lips down on the cookie like that. Yep, and look at how cute. Oh, they're cute little faces. Aww. We're best friends. <laughs> I'm JJ Oreo, and this is Melissa Oreo. Yay, and then we're gonna place it right in the front. She's pretty. Okay. And then we have these little green candies. They're, I think they're a Twizzler, but you can use whatever color you want. And then we're gonna add our little antenna there. Beautiful. And then just when you thought it was super cute, it's gonna get even cuter. And we're gonna yeah. add our wings. So take your black oh. frosting, and okay. we're gonna put a line down the back and just keep squeezing with a solid motion down the back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then you can create wings however you want. So just kind of go around the back side. And then I bought these little black round ball sprinkles. And then you can take the little black sprinkles, their little balls, and you can just press that into your frosting. And of course, you always have to lick your fingers when you're mm -hmm. baking when and you get making it. treats. No cupcake is ever gonna look the same, so you can say which one is yours and which one isn't. <laughs> exactly. Oh, the thing I love is according to where you place the little eyeballs and the lips, you get a whole different facial expression. So each little ladybug has a personality of their own. So that is the ladybug cupcake. Yeah, Very. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to another fun activity. Yeah. Melissa just taught me how to make these awesome cupcakes and these fruit kebabs. So now I'm gonna teach you guys how to make the fruit kebabs. So what you do is you can take like a wooden dowel or like a skewer mm -hmm. and you can take some fun fruits like grapes, for example. It doesn't have to be grapes, but we're gonna do grapes because grapes are amazing. Yes, they are amazing. And super healthy. So we're just gonna press these little grapes down on the skewer. And I like to look for the center of the grape. Yeah, me too. And then just did. push it down. Yeah, like this little part right here. Down. So then we're gonna take a strawberry and we just remove the green off the strawberry. Yes. And we're gonna press the skewer in the center of that little kebab. All right, so now we're gonna take our black frosting okay. or you could use cream cheese, whatever you have in the house that is a little sticky. And we're gonna put some little... It's not glue. 
Yeah, don't do glue. Edible and sticky, that's a good point. <laughs> so then I'm going to press some little eyeballs down onto the caterpillar. It's so cute. But then you can add more if you want, right? Yeah, and you don't even There's need to do eyes. the candy. You could just do candy dots like that. You could just do some frosting dots yeah. if you want, but we're gonna make it a bit more realistic. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna put a little nose on mine. Perfect. Oh. Hi, I'm Mrs. Caterpillar. <laughs> and there you go. Caterpillar fruit kebabs. Yeah. Can't get any easier than that. All right. Do you right. want to make something else? Yes. Okay, so. I have something even more delicious. Do you love marshmallows and chocolate? Are you kidding? Of course I do. Well, that Who doesn't? Is, I don't know anybody that doesn't. And that's why I want to show you the easiest little sweet treat you could possibly make, all right? All you need are marshmallows, marshmallows. some chocolate, chocolate that you can melt, some sprinkles, and little toothpick skewers. And then I'm going to show you how to package them up to make little fun sweet treats. So For party favors. Yes, you're perfect. You're one of those people. Yes. So first thing you're going to do is just take a marshmallow and dip it into some pink chocolate. Of course it's pink. I have never seen anything so pretty than pink chocolate. I know. All right, now we're just gonna dip it in some little sprinkles here and place it so that the wet side is facing up, okay? And you could do another one as well. Easiest thing in the world. Yes, so give it a little swirl around. Dip it in some sprinkles. Super easy, you can make like dozens of these in minutes. Yes. All right, so now we have to wait and let these dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. But because we have magic happening here in this kitchen, we already have some other oh, ones no. that we made a little earlier. So these are dry. That's okay. Oh, the dry ones. These will be just fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the pointy side on the little skewer, and we're gonna take the marshmallow in the center and just push it through to about this far down. And then take your other one and push that right on top like this. And what I like to do is I go to Michael's. It's a store where you can buy lots of baking supplies, but you can get these anywhere, I'm sure. And take a little tiny bag and push that marshmallow in, just like this. And then wrap it up with a little twisty tie. It looks kind of like a cake pop. It does. Like a marshmallow cake pop. But it takes a lot less time to do. So as you can see, no. we made little caterpillar kebabs, uh, marshmallow skewers, and, and ladybug, ladybug cupcakes. cupcakes. Yeah. Cheers, my dear. Cheers. Thanks for baking with me today. Thanks. You too. <laughs> Great having you. It was so Thank fun. you. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you haven't already. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. All of those are Talk with Tayden, all one word, super simple, lowercase letters, easy peasy. Pumpkin scoop. <laughs> and remember to talk with me more here on Toon Goggles and on top things in Tayden's world. If you want a little more of me, you can see my unboxings on that show. So definitely be sure to check that out. And until next time, bye! bye. Have fun baking! <laughs>